Liz Truss has been chosen to be the next Prime Minister of the UK. She was voted for by members of the Conservative Party over the summer. They've had this huge leadership contest. I'm sure you've seen lots of it uh, on Newsround. And that's, of course, after Boris Johnson decided to step down in July. Now, over 140,000 party members voted in that. They were the ones who decided who should be the leader of the Conservative Party and our new Prime Minister. She went up against Rishi Sunak, didn't she? And she beat him by 20 21,000 votes. So who is Liz Truss? Well, let's try and get to know her a little bit better. Thank you for putting your faith in me to lead our great Conservative Party, the greatest political party on earth. It's official. The Conservative Party have elected a new leader and Britain's next Prime Minister, Liz Truss. She's the third woman to become Prime Minister. All three of them have come from the Conservative Party. She's taking over from Boris Johnson, who stepped down as leader of the Conservative Party in July. Liz Truss was born in Oxford in 1975. Her father was a maths teacher and her mum was a nurse. She moved to Glasgow in Scotland and then to Leeds before going to university in Oxford. She's married and has two children. She's been part of the government for over 10 years most recently as the Foreign Secretary, looking after the UK's relationship with other countries. But what does she stand for? Well, she's known for changing her mind a few times over the years. She started her career as a Liberal Democrat, then changed to join the Conservative Party. She once believed the UK should no longer have a royal family, but now she's very supportive of them. She also campaigned for the UK to stay in the European Union, then she switched to supporting Brexit. Her supporters say that it is a good thing that someone can change their mind, but her critics say it shows that she hasn't got any strong beliefs. She has a big challenge as soon as she starts work as Prime Minister. Prices are going up fast and lots of people are struggling to pay their bills. Liz Truss says that as Prime Minister, she will help people by cutting taxes. That's the money that adults have to pay to the government. Her supporters say this will help people who are struggling to pay higher prices, but others think this won't do enough to tackle the problems and might make it even worse. If Liz Truss does succeed in dealing with the high prices, then that will go a long way to her being a successful Prime Minister. If she doesn't, then it will be difficult for her to stay in the job.